An uproar in Jacksonville as several local food truck vendors are filing lawsuits against the city over rules and regulations. Today, the Institute for Justice held a news conference with these small business owners about their complaints. Not on your side's Claire Curry attended that event, joins us now live in Jacksonville with the latest on this situation. Claire. Angie, Ken, local business owners like Northwood Urban Farms want to support and promote other people to shop small, but with the city ordinances, it prevents them for food trucks to operate on their property. The more availability that we have, the more that we can work together, the more that we can expose our customers to each of our businesses, the better it is for the community and for the economy. Northwood's Urban Farm is one of the plaintiffs in the suit, alongside the Spot and the Cheesesteak Hustle food trucks. It's kind of pointless to have a food truck in the eyes of the city of Jacksonville. According to the city's code of ordinances, food trucks are prohibited from operating within 250 feet of another food truck, restaurant, or residential property. Those two restrictions alone eliminate food trucks from 96% of the city of Jacksonville. They also add a food truck owner can only put one sign on the ground within 20 feet of the truck and can't have any signs on the top. Reducing some owners to spend their money on advertising instead of towards other items for their truck. This has cost me and my business uh, on average about $1,200 a month in advertising fees through social media because the city restricts us from putting up any type of signage. And lastly, Jacksonville requires the businesses to pay a $300 permit fee, which the Institute for Justice argues that it doesn't cost that much to collect and review a permit application. Facing those barriers to their economic liberties and their property rights, Tony, Nicole, and Ray teamed up with IJ to file a constitutional lawsuit against the city. In response, the city says they were unaware of the lawsuit, and once their attorney has reviewed the documents, a comment will be provided. When I spoke with the city earlier, they mentioned that another food truck uninvolved in the suit has reached out to address some of those same issues and set up a meeting for later this month. I'll have a list of all the food ordinances on our website with the city of Jacksonville at WNCT.com. Live in Jacksonville, Claire Curry, 9 on your side.